Welcome to Libertas Video. My name is Eric, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing Reillusion's Wilderness Survival Animation Pack, which consists of 43 different motions across four main categories. There's Explore, Hunt, Camp and Cook, as well as Idle. These seem to take a lot of inspiration from TV shows like Naked and Afraid, or really any show that depicts humans attempting to survive in the wilderness using primitive technology, which, to be honest, doesn't really align with much of my main storytelling elements of assassins, fighting, and parkour. But Reillusion was nice enough to send me this pack for review, so I thought it was a wonderful opportunity to put it to the test and see how I could apply it to my own narrative storytelling. I use this pack to tell the backstory of how my two assassin characters, Sophia and Alejandro, go looking for a lost temple. This is actually a story I've already been sharing snapshots of on my Instagram channel, so if you're interested to see how that story continues, you can find it there at Libertas Video. But the goal of doing this is really to see how I can take a pack that doesn't really seem to be intended for my purposes and utilize it to tell even better stories. So what do I think? I really like the interactive nature of the animations. Whether paddling a boat, gathering fruit, or chopping wood, most of these animations have the characters interacting with their surroundings, whether that's the terrain or various props. The hand motions are what stood out the most to me right away, and I feel like there's a lot of detail captured in the performances. Personally, I like the campfire animations and the track prey motions, as I feel like I can continue to come back to those animations again and again. Of course, with how much the pack relies on interactions with props, you will likely find yourself utilizing various constraints to match the terrain or props of your specific story. Reillusion provides a lot of tutorials on their YouTube channel to assist in many specific scenarios, so I would highly recommend you check those out as I have found them very helpful, either because I have learned something along the way or when I'm brushing up on a feature in iClone 8 that I haven't used in a while. But if you want specific tutorials on how I was able to create this sword animation where the prop is connected to both the character's hand and the stone below, you can check that out in this video here. The other piece of advice that I have would be that this pack benefits highly from good facial performances. Now that is the case for all animations, but this one in particular, I found that the performances can be very much influenced by the emotions on the character's face. If the character's tired, stressed, happy or concerned, we as the audience will put the pieces together of what the character is going through, both from the physical motions and the facial expressions, to understand the state of the character. For my examples, I provided rudimentary expressions using the face puppet and face key tools in iClone 8, but I still feel like I could have done better, and I would very much like to get my hands on Reillusion's AccuFace. I did a torture test a few months back and I was blown away by the results and I think that would be my next big step in improving my facial animations and therefore making more believable animations overall. I think the animations are performed very well and give a good amount of variety within their four main categories. There were however a few things that posed issues for me, and they mainly revolved around the stream crossing and climbing animations, and this is mostly due to the design of the pack. Since it seems to be inspired by the wilderness survival shows, I feel that some of these animations have the characters going so slowly over obstacles that it comes off as either timid or exhausted, which can be very good if that's what you're going for. For my use case, I have a seasoned assassin crossing a stream, and I would expect her to be a little bit more confident in her footsteps. I wasn't going for exhaustion at the time, so I had to get a little creative on how I was going to use these specific shots cutting around the unsteady foot placements and using close-ups to make the crossing seem a little faster. Another issue I had was with the climb up and walk down animations, which suffer from the same problem. I like the animations themselves, but the character is moving down a couple of inches at most and doing it so carefully that it comes off as unrealistic. But again, using close-up shots and cutting around angles could help sell it in the end. So overall, what do I think as someone using this pack outside of its intended purposes? I think it works really well, and I think that's an important thing to bring up. When looking for animations or assets in general, no matter if it's on Reillusion or the Unreal Engine Marketplace or wherever you find your assets, make sure you're judging the animations not just on their immediate application, but see if you can continue to use them in the future. For example, 
I could use the campfire animations, the idle animations, the hunting animations again and again. And because of that, that makes it very useful for me. Therefore, I would recommend reviewing the animations on the Marketplace or ActorCore to review all the available animations and see if it will work for your project now and in the future. If you find that a majority will be applicable, then I would highly recommend you going for it. And if you're wanting to tell your own stories and you like some of the characters that you've seen in this video, you can find my models on Reillusion's content store under my developer name, Libertas Armory, or you can just check them out in the link below. I hope this video has been helpful and inspiring to show you what can be done with it, even if you're not into wilderness survival. If you would like to purchase it, I have put links in the description below as well. That's going to do it for us here. We'll see you on the next Libertas video.